Hey there poppers, Lynn here just for the health of it. And boy, am I glad that I did some experimentation with my rain catchment system because it has just been pouring, pouring down rain for two days straight now. And so um, just a couple little points that I wanted to make is one, I do know that it is legal to catch rainwater in my state as long as it's from an existing structure. So if you're pulling rain off of something that's already in place, which technically my RV is, then it is legal to capture that rainwater and use it. Um, please make sure that you check out your areas and your local laws and restrictions because seems kind of crazy to me but apparently catching rainwater is illegal still in some places a couple other little things that I wanted to point out is I did do some research and quite a few different sites um, government and non-government and educational and I even though I have a black potable only food used food grade 55 gallon barrel um, because I have so much pollen and it's just kind of impossible for me to really keep the system completely sealed I have chosen to add a little bit of bleach now of course this affects my showers my skin I'm not drinking the water although it is apparently safe to drink with these levels of bleach I also am not able to use it on the garden, my gray water that I was using on the garden. So, I mean, there's a couple caveats, but I just felt like adding the little bit of bleach for me, for my situation, I was more comfortable rather than dealing with pollen and algae and other potential issues in my water container. So that is what I chose to do, but make sure you do your research, what you're comfortable with, and what volume of bleach you're gonna use for how you are going to be using that water. So let me get out there, and again, this is still a, a pretty basic prototype. Um, and I have a couple areas where I would love some feedback because it's not fine-tuned, um, and I, I, I do feel like I can get the system to work a lot better, but I would, definitely appreciate any comments or suggestions that you guys have to help me refine my system all right so we are starting at the end of my RV here now as much as you tried to level it the rainwater still was definitely coming off this end look he's drinking the other rainwater catchment there so I started off of the existing gutter and just use some 90 degree elbows and a straight run and you can see that there is a little piece that I've used there to attach those two if if I tried to do it one straight run it seemed like it was too long and it kind of sagged in the middle because remember this is all gravity fed and so oh, it does need to work with gravity so we start over here, gravity down, and again, some 45s. There's Freya in the window. Hi, baby doll. What are you doing? <laughs> then it comes down here. Here's my bump out. And you can see, see how much that one sags? I want to put a little connector in the middle just to kind of keep that very straight keeping my angles you can see I just put a chain with the S hook to hang it over that gravity gravity here's the chain on the other side that holds this end and then this goes into a funnel because I couldn't quite get the right angle into the freshwater tank and then I just have this little funnel rigged up. And there is, it's kind of hard to see, but see this black 
piece on the inside of the plastic, there's actually a very fine meshed screen filter that I put in there. Because again, this isn't obviously a completely closed system, um, but I am filtering water as it goes into there before it goes into my tank. And because you can flush your freshwater tank with bleach water, and it's actually recommended to do that, I did make sure that I put a little bit, again, using the recommendations from my research, but you do what you're comfortable with. I did put a small amount of bleach um, into my freshwater holding tank. So I can go straight into my freshwater tank here but I also can take this and put it right into my 55 gallon tote here, which it is completely full right now. Um, the, if I put a hose on that, even though it's lower than this, the pressure, I will be able to gravity feed about a third of it into my tank. But this guy is completely, completely full. Uh, this is one thing that I did not like, which, man, please help me think of a way because this has a, a lip. When I open this up to put my pipe in, I'm getting, you can see the pollen and the tree debris. I want to keep as much of that, of course, out of there as possible. So suggestions on like if there's a different lid or how I could rig this up so that when this PVC goes in there, I'm not having this situation, which then of course fills into my tank. And also, if there's a better option here, of course, now mind you, this is all stuff I literally had on site. Huh, bulky buns. Like I did not buy or go get anything these are all pieces that I had here for other various projects so I mean it's rained so much we were able to fill our 55 gallon tote hey bug we filled that in about a 24 hour period and so because that was full I went ahead and put it into my fresh tank normally I kind of like it to go through here so that I know at least most of my sediment is going to the bottom. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and again, I am only using this for shower and washing dishes. I am not using this for drinking. Oh, Bagabooski buns, you're so cute. So again, I am only using this for showering and like washing dishes. I am not using this for drinking or cooking in any way. Um, I do have a water delivery service, so that is where we are getting our truly, truly fresh water. Although technically this is drinkable water, um, it's just kind of one of those, it's, it's, my comfort level is the delivery service is pretty easy and cheap. They bring it right to me and so, I would rather just use this for showering and washing dishes. Freya, under our beautiful rain catchment system, isn't that right, Boki? You can see here's our drinking water. Right, Bug? All right. Well, make sure that you do research for your state and, um, your laws and regulations and then just kind of you know look around and see what you already have on site or on hand and like I said this is all stuff that was here I didn't buy anything um, I am very happy with the system so I'm probably gonna go and get actually maybe some glue those pieces are just hanging in compression literally Compression. I've squeezed it so tight it's compression holding those pieces in. <laughs> and then the other side, of course, just hanging with the chain. So yeah, do research, figure out what your laws and regulations are. 
um, how much comfort you have in drinking rainwater, what you're putting it in, if you do want to um, add some kind of sanitation or leach or other filters. You know, there's other filter stuff where you can you can run it through with a pump and a filter up into the other one. Um, but like I said, this was free. This was 100% free stuff I had here. So do your research, see how healthy rainwater is for you, your hair, your skin. Um, the garden, really, if I hadn't put bleach on it, but I am catching rain in five gallon buckets for the garden, so that's okay. And then, yeah, make sure you comment down below on any tips or advice you have or easy ways to work with um, my couple situations that I'd like to fine tune. And then hopefully you do something just for your health of it today. See you in the next one.